On a thrilling final day at Carnoustie, Molinari became the first Italian to win a major. Despite jetting off for a well-earned family break straight after the event, he was back at the WGC Bridgestone Invitational last week, doing what he does best. There's been little time to soak up the glory of that famous win in Scotland, and even less time to celebrate with a prestigious claret jug. Nothing has gone in yet. Uh, no, no. Well, I'm not a big drinker, so you know, to fill it with water, it would be a bit of a blasphemy. Feels like so. Uh, I'm sure that there will be, you know, times at the end of the season when everything comes down that something goes in it, but not yet. Uh, Dennis, my coach, was there a few days last week to to get ready, and uh, he put in a special request to sleep with the Claret Jack one night. So I was happy to to share it with him. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you know, it's just fun to to have it around on the sitting on the table. Obviously, the the kids love it, and it's it's nice to to have it with us. Before his maiden major, Molinari secured the European Tour's flagship event, the BMW PGA Championship in May, with the Quicken's lone national following on the PGA Tour in July. But despite his unquestionable ability, it's taken him a while to realise his true potential. It's been a journey of discovery, not only for him, but his team, that have given him the confidence to take his game to the next level. Just a lot of work from, from the guys around me, to be honest. They, they probably believed already before the, the, re, the recent results. They believed in me more than, than I ever did. So, you know, it's, it's taken a long time for them to, to keep telling me and to uh, help me achieve things that would show to myself that I was that, that kind of player. So I think for, for me personally, the key, it's always been uh, results, but also you know, when you go out on the course and you're playing with some of the best players in the world, you, you confront yourself with them. And I think a few years back, obviously, I was competing against them, but I always felt like they had something that I, I didn't have. And, and now it feels like I, I, can, I can play with them and, and, you know, I don't feel uh, intimidated in any way or I, I feel like I, I can compete with all of them. That was self-evident at Carnoustie as Francesco, paired on the final day with Tiger Woods, held his nerve in front of huge galleries to calmly plot his way to victory. It was a confident round from a player rejuvenated, and it's sure to bode well for the Italian going into the final major of the year in Belle Reef and the Ryder Cup at the Golf National in September. He played his game, and it wouldn't matter who he was playing with. Whether it would have been Tiger or Phil, he could have been playing with Jesus. It don't matter. He's playing, this is what I got to do. And watching him plod along and plod along and plod along like that, that's how you knew that he was in his own place. And so that the guy who's playing alongside you, doesn't. it doesn't matter. When you get into that zone and you're doing your thing, it's you and your caddy and that's it. He's a great symbol for younger golfers who think they have to hit it 340 yards or that they have to be spectacular with their putter or they have to be spectacular with the wedge. Nah, Francesco just showed the whole world that I can have a boring golf game and hit it between 290 and 310, hit the middle of greens, make a couple of eight footers when they count, be able to get up and down a couple of times when it, like you don't have to be great to have greatness happen. What I wrote about after Francesco won, I said, okay, he's been hiding in the shadows, which he prefers. He doesn't like bringing the limelight on himself. But now he better start getting used to that limelight because he's the best player in the world right now. I know Dustin Johnson just won, but what Francesco did, three wins, two seconds, and six starts, one of them being a major championship, one of them being the flagship tournament, in a uh, in European tour, the other being a runaway at Tiger's event in DC where he shot lights out. Um, he's doing everything. It doesn't look spectacular, but it is spectacular. I mean, nobody's putted better on that stage than he has lately. His iron play is superb. 
His up and down, his ability to, to get up and down is superb. He hits fairways a lot. He just does it at a lower wattage, if you will, uh, limelight. He better get used to having a few more reporters around him these days, and I think he can handle it. Look, he played with Tiger Woods in the final round at the Open Championship. You had to be there. There were 25 deep on most holes. There were just waves of people going with them. And he never blinked. Never blinked. And he never made a bogey. There's the other thing. He's made one bogey in his last two tournaments that he's won on the weekend. One! He didn't make a bogey at Carnoustie on the weekend. That should come with its own claret jug. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. He just has this great even temperament, a great tempo, even tempo with his golf swing. I mean, it's, it's repeatable, it's the same, but uh, it's just all of a sudden, yeah, 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 that guy that used to be over in the shadows, he ain't in the shadows anymore because right now he's the best player in the world.